Hi everyone, this is Brenda here. Welcome to my next episode, day 32 of my Let's Clash series. So let's start the episode with an interesting defense replay that occurred on my base. So this guy was using some balloons and some arches to try to farm my base, definitely going for the elixir storages because they were very exposed. So he managed to steal like 141,000 elixir from my base ready and now he dropped his Barbarian King to try to take out the Tahoe but my CC has came out with a wizard so the wizard has just taken out his uh, barbarian king at this point of time he was thinking what to do not knowing what else he could actually do to try to uh, take on my base because the wizards are just over there um, obviously will be able to harass his troops so he's just uh, taking his time uh, thinking what to do with the balloons he has just sent in has gone down really quickly from the damage from the wizards and then now he tried to send in some more balloons from the top but he couldn't uh, carry on the attack and I managed to win the attack and got the achievement for the unbreakable one start done. I got 5 gems from it which was really not too bad. And then now going ahead to do my very own attack on this 242,000 gold available base. Just gonna focus on the gold, not really gonna bother on the elixir because my elixir just need another 300,000 for it to reach the cap uh, capacity right now. So I don't really want to focus on the elixir but once I reach to Tahoe 9 as mentioned, I'll be able to focus on the elixir to farm for my walls to upgrade them to level 9 so I heard that there was actually a kind of a little glitch in the update recently so what happened was a supercell actually allowed level 6 and above walls to be upgraded using elixir however I didn't know about that uh, but uh, I've heard and also gotten some messages from my uh, friends, from my clashmen. Also, some of you guys have stated in the comments we that we use uh, Elixir to upgrade our walls from level 6 and above. But uh, after a few hours after the update came out, Supercell did a maintenance break. And then uh, what I realized that they actually changed it back to the original of uh, level 8 and above walls. Then you could use the uh, Elixir to upgrade them. So uh, level 8 to level 9, then you could use a 1 million Elixir to upgrade them. To the next level so uh, it didn't affect me too much to be honest uh, especially when I didn't have a free builder to use um, the elixir to upgrade the level 6 walls to a higher level walls but uh, not to worry I mean it's not gonna affect me too much because I only have a 2 million elixir to upgrade for those who have uh, like 8 million uh, elixir stocked up and be able to use the elixir on those level 6 and above walls but I don't think it affected a lot of people that much because for those uh, hardcore farmers especially for those with uh, 8 million um, capacity of the elixir it's not uh, too uh, easy to find those uh, high capacity bases with level 6 and below walls so those people will probably have like level 8 or level 9 walls already so yeah so back to the raid so now as you can see i found this 355,000 gold available base and uh, just gonna focus on the gold mines as usual but i didn't manage to steal a lot of gold from the gold mine as a it's kind of a confusing because i wasn't too sure whether it was in the gold mine or was it in the gold storages so uh, as you can see the gold storages they look pretty empty but then the gold they weren't going down too much too so it was like kind of a 50 50 not exactly a 50 50 but like a 60 uh, 40 or whatsoever so I couldn't get all the gold from this uh, base. I thought I could get like uh, almost 300 over 1000 gold from the base. As there were more than 100,000 gold still inside the gold storages after I've uh, taken out the gold mines. So there's still quite a lot of gold inside the gold storages and it would be quite impossible for me to use my barbarians and archers to take out the gold storages because the base is just well uh, defended. And then uh, going ahead with the next raid. So for those of you who do not know, uh, Supercell actually changed the matchmaking system recently. If we just talk about the old matchmaking system which uh, wasn't a change before the update. Uh, the matchmaking system was uh, basically you'll be able to find uh, below 200 trophies of you and also above 200 trophies from you uh, bases to attack regardless of the trophy level of uh, whatever bases that you find well, however currently after the recent update how they actually changed it was that you'll be able to find um, the same town hall level as you are uh, more often and uh, of course it still uh, applies for the trophy range too so uh, for the few, first few days I mean the today and also yesterday I've been uh, finding a lot of raids with uh, Town Hall 8s and also some Town Hall 9s so I would say like 60% of the bases that I'm searching for are usually Town Hall 8s that appears and then uh, some of them will be a Town Hall 9 or also a Town Hall 7 so it's more often that a Town Hall 8 appears not like last time whenever I see like a Town Hall 6, Town Hall 7 uh, appears quite often at a low goal leak but uh, currently right now I'm finding a lot of Town Hall 8s 
So um, I would say that it's a good thing, but also a bad thing. I, the good thing about doing uh, this matchmaking system is that we will be able to find uh, more uh, Town Hall levels that are the same Town Hall level as you. So for example, I'm a Town Hall 8 and I'm finding a lot of Town Hall 8s to attack, which is a good thing because the loot penalty won't uh, apply too much on me, especially I won't see a lot of Town Hall 6 or Town Hall 5s appearing for me. So that's I've, that I feel is a good thing. But the bad thing is if you're going to trophy push, then I don't think it's a good thing because if uh, actually you'll be able to find a Town Hall 5 or Town Hall 6, but uh, because of the new matchmaking system, you can only find a higher Town Hall level as you or Town Hall 8, then you're going to have a problem uh, searching for those uh, easy bases to attack. So that's why I would think that for those people who are actually trophy pushing, it will be not too easy as compared to last time. But then it will also be taken into consideration that if you are a Town Hall 10, that will be more difficult. But if you are a Town Hall say a 7, 8 or 9 and you want to push your way to Masters or even to Champions, I would say it will be relatively easier once you reach to Masters because the bases that you will be finding are not those kind of like Town Hall 10s more often. I mean if you are a Town Hall 8 and you find those Town Hall 10s, I'm pretty sure you won't want to go ahead and attack those bases, right? Unless it's a Town Hall Snipe. So for a Town Hall 8 to attack say a Town Hall 9 using like, using like Mass Dragons, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, that's why if Supercell had changed the matchmaking system to this uh, manner, it has also affected the game a lot. Like for example, if uh, for those people who actually want to um, you do the unbreakable achievement, which I actually talked about and uh, gave a guide on how to do it, I'll put a link in the description below for those of you who want to check it out of how to complete your unbreakable achievement. So uh, I have a line chat whereby uh, a lot of the community, community sorry, uh, members of uh, the forum, we actually do have discussion. So some of those people, they actually wanted to complete the unbreakable achievement too and they've been asking me advice on how to complete it. So my advice last time was to drop all the way to 220 trophies and then after that you will uh, be able to uh, win 5 or 4 defenses then your trophies will go all the way to 300. And once it reaches to 300, you just have to lose a few attacks and then uh, just drop back down to 220. And then um, you just have to just keep repeating that. If you guys go ahead and review that video that I put the, the link in, in the link description below, you guys uh, definitely know how it actually I'm talking about. So go ahead to check it out. But uh, what I'm actually trying to say is that basically for those people who actually try out my method, my old method, now the problem is if they are Town Hall 10 or 9, they won't be able to find a lot of Town Hall 9s and 10s at that trophy range and the problem is uh, they just have to keep uh, searching and the search doesn't occur as in you have to press the next button the search occurs such a way whereby you are just uh, looking at your magnifying glass and then there's a cloud that appears so you just keep searching and searching and searching and you search for like roughly 3 minutes or 2 minutes then a base appears for you to lose the attack so, um, I mean, it has uh, benefited the game in a certain way. I mean, it's, I would feel that it has improved my farming uh, rate uh, slightly for this um, new matchmaking update. But I don't think it has uh, affected in a positive way in the whole entire gameplay because to do Unbreakable for those of you who actually really want to complete the achievement, I don't think it's really going to be very easy right now. And also, take into consideration for those of you who already know that uh, I set the world record for the most number of attacks in the season, setting it at 25,555 attack wins in a season. Uh, for those of you who are interested, I'll put a link in the description below too, uh, talking about that. So uh, the problem about currently that uh, record right now is, um, the, a lot of us, the forumers, we have very discussed about it and that after the new update has came out, it's really totally impossible to do that achievement right now because the way I did it was I used my Archer Queen to just snipe the Town Hall and then uh, currently right now the problem is when you actually do my method, you would be able to do it only at a higher league. If you do it like say a Bronze League, you will be able to find only those uh, same Town Hall level as you. When you drop your Archer Queen to snipe those uh, bases, you will also have problem finding bases. The same problem of clouding actually occurs so yeah that's why uh, i don't think anybody can actually do anything about their record anymore right now which i don't think is a fair thing for those people who actually want to attempt the record and also want to complete the unbreakable achievement so yeah that's it for my this uh, update uh, things that i want to talk about so going back to the raid so now as you can see i 
uh, completed one of the upgrade my Tesla completed and now I'm going to do a search so while I'm actually searching I'm actually uh, removing the obstacle so once I remove an obstacle I go ahead and search although it's only 10 seconds but in this 10 seconds I will be able to search like maybe uh, two to three bases and just hoping that a high resource basis appears for me so I have four obstacles to remove I've already removed two so we're just gonna go ahead and search some more so couldn't find any for this uh, particular removal of the obstacle so going back to my base and remove the mushroom right now and then while I remove the mushroom the builder is going ahead to remove the mushroom in 10 seconds let's go ahead and find a raid so yeah we found this 340,000 gold available uh, Town Hall 8 so definitely gonna go for the attack I mean the mushroom will definitely be removed once we are back and we will be able to go ahead to remove the very fourth and last obstacle that's on my base so I did mention about uh, obstacle too in my previous episode uh, I only mentioned about a uh, gem box but now I'm going to talk about obstacle the thing about obstacle is you can only have 40 obstacles on your base at a given time so that's the max number of obstacles you can have so for those of you who are planning to like try to fill up your whole entire base of obstacles uh, I don't think that that's going to be possible because the max number is 40 and also if you're for those of you who are also wondering how obstacles are spawned if you actually spread your buildings in such a way whereby it blocks a lot and takes up a lot of the map then the chances of an obstacle spawning is uh, lower and also another fact for you guys to take note which is an obstacle will spawn once every 8 hours so uh, that's why it's really recommended to squeeze all your um, buildings together if you want to get more obstacles that's why and also to get more gems out from the obstacles so yeah completing the raid getting a lot of gold from it and then now going back to my base definitely going to remove the very last obstacle that particular mushroom over there and then uh, of course getting my rich spells back and then uh, just going ahead to wait for the builder to be uh, done with the, the removal of the mushroom and I didn't wait for it that long enough being slightly impatient and of course going ahead to upgrade my wall having uh, more than 500,000 gold because I definitely did that raid uh, for that uh, reason and going ahead to upgrade more of my walls spending away the gold that I do not want to have in my storage because I'm going to go offline soon to go for defend so I do not want to lose a lot of resources to people who want to steal my resources so now getting the second dark barrack which I should have gotten it a few days back uh, rather than doing other upgrades but I was focusing a lot of my army camps to increase the strength of my uh, troops so getting some troops and of course now let's take a look at how many wars I've completed so I've completed 90 of my level 8 wars I'm definitely going to continue to upgrade them in the next few episodes so yeah that's it for this uh, particular episode that I'd like to update you guys on with uh, my profile currently as you can see with 293 attack wands ready so some of you guys have stated in the comments asking me how do I do a lot of attack wands uh, per day doing like roughly 100 to 200 in a day the reason uh, as to how I'm able to do this many uh, attacks is because I snipe towns the way I snipe my towns I just drop a few troops and then the troops will just take out a town not even needing to spend all my troops to take out the town and also some attacks I don't use all my troops maybe using like around 50 to 60 percent and I'm still able to get the one star especially for those uh, bases with exposed buildings on the outside just dropping only one archer and but the building will just get taken out without any archer being uh, used at all so yeah, that's it for this uh, episode. So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my episode and clash on.